going to work in my 2017 composite art journal. These are out of a section in my art journal where I just do pages as I get inspired. So I believe that the page that I'm going to work on will probably be this blank page. So I'm going to pull it out. You can get a hint of what I'm going to work on. Yesterday was the big total solar eclipse that happened in the United States. And I saved, I saved the glasses that I looked through. And I saved this front page of our local newspaper. This will fit on here quite nice. I'm going to cut it here, I believe, and cut it here. Very simple. I'm going to put the glasses across there. This is my Society for Idea Collecting journal. And back here in the activities tab that I had, I was watching Dee Dee Willingham's episode 5 of the Society of Idea Collectors. There's a link to her channel in the description box below. And she made little zines that she gave as giveaways. And as I was watching it, I thought, well, I'm going to make a little zine. Don't leave me out. <laughs> so I was sketching ideas for the zine that I'm going to make. So this video that I'm going to work on today is going to be all about the August 21st, 2017 total solar eclipse. We were in the path of totality, so we did get to see it turn dark around us. So I'm going to get started, and when I'm finished, I'll come back and show you the page. I start out by painting a 12 by 12 paper and three eight and a half by 11 size copy sheets of bright yellow. I'll be using these to create my mini zine and my art journal page. I really do like that color of yellow. Here I am sorting through some things that I want to use in the mini zine. A lot of the articles that you see there are from our daily newspaper. A lot of the images. I'm really liking these. Especially, look at this eclipse. It almost looks like a crescent moon, but that's actually the moon going across the sun. I add some yellow there for the sun to give it a little color. and attach it and Eclipse 2017 journaling spot. The smaller page there is a Tim Holtz stencil backing. Here I am using some red crochet thread to bind the mini zine. I'm just doing a basic pamphlet stitch. Very fun to do, very simple to do. I really got inspired watching Dee Dee Willingham's episode five of her Society for Idea Collectors. Tying it off, have a little fringe hanging off of it. Now I am making a bobby pin embellishment and I'm calling this my shooting star. I really do like that. I use Elmer's glue to attach it to the bobby pin. And you can see I've attached the bobby pin to a ruler. I set aside to dry. Now I am drawing the eclipse going across the pages of my mini zine. I'm using a black ink tense and then I swipe it away with a towel. I really like using ink tints on my pages because the ink tints dries permanent. And you can see as I work, work across the pages, the mini zine 
I have the eclipse. The total, the point of totality is right in the center of my mini scene. And you'll see that as I work through the different pages. Here I'm using a black marker to draw borders around my pages. I do this before I add any journaling. There's the point of totality. Really fun to work in this and to document the total solar eclipse. Here is the inside front cover. It is the path that the total eclipse took through the United States. And some pictures out of our daily newspaper, silhouette pictures of a man looking up at the eclipse and a lady taking a picture of it. Very fun to do this. I did not want the entire headline here, so I just used the word eclipse. Now I am drawing those special little glasses that one needed to look at the eclipse. And I have this sort of a called artist silver paste. I thought that was really fun to use for the lens. And then I just buff it off. It does dry. I will be adding some journaling and a quote on this page later. I'm coloring the little glasses in with my marker. Here I am adding little dots, doodles around the border. Some of them are total eclipse. Some of them are just little dot outlines of the sun. Some of them are partial eclipse. Here I fussy cut out some of the actual articles. I'll be showing these pages later at the end of this segment. Highlighting the articles with my black marker just to give it a little touch on the page. E Day Cometh. I've never heard this called E Day until I read the newspaper. <laughs> this is the center page, and that little spot that I'm putting on there documents when the eclipse occurred in the town where I'm at and when the point of a totality and when it ended and here I'm just journaling my experience of watching the eclipse and then on the next page I'll be journaling some of my thoughts about it watch and contemplate the serendipitous artistry of the universe I love that quote I heard that while watching a YouTube video of the eclipse in Oregon I used that on a a couple of pages in here. This is the last page and I'm just documenting the purpose of the mini zine which was to commemorate the total solar eclipse of August 21st 2017 which was really quite an event. It was really fun to watch it happen. And I'm signing it and dating it and now I'm creating a 12 by 12 art journal page. This was from the front page of our local newspaper, Fantastic Moment. Two days they had front page news on the eclipse. It was really fun to save these. I'm collaging them down using Liquitex Matte Medium. Here I'm trimming the page off. I add a little black around the border to close it in and just to enhance the page. It does dry a little bit more flat when it's dry. So fun to create this page. Here I'm using the actual little special glasses that we purchased to watch, us, to watch the eclipse. And this will actually be a belly band pocket holder to hold my little mini zine. You'll see that later. 
I'm attaching it using double-sided score tape. How fun this was. Attach it right diagonally on the page and then I insert the little mini zine. A really fun page to create to remember August 21st, 2017 total solar eclipse. Okay, I made an art journal page to commemorate the total solar eclipse. This was a page out of our daily paper that I just collaged down on the page. I really like where this diamond ring is starting to show. How fun this was to do. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I will see you on the next page.